hello and welcome to the Lumowitz training channel. In this video, I will show you how to use the dispatch window and how to make the best use of it. Click on the dispatch icon on the top left corner. Search criteria is shown. By default, you'll have today's date. However, you can search by account, by driver, by vehicle, or limo ID if you have multiple limo company IDs licensed under the Lumowitz program. For now, we'll select by date. Click find. Limos will display the trips for today. On the top part of the window, you have the trips listed. Trip. And we have several columns displayed for you, just much like a spreadsheet format. Trip date, pickup time. You could size the columns if you don't see them properly, by the way. And Limos will keep the size of the columns uh, saved for you for next time. Let me describe a few columns that are listed on the screen. The V stands for very important or VIP client. PM for pay method. Do is for trip total due. P yes or no means paid yes or no. Set or for settled, if the job it has been settled, you'll see some initials here, your initials, car, car number, number of passengers, the driver that's assigned to the trip, confirm, that's what you want to confirm the trip uh, with a customer when they call up, and you could actually display um, a window, and you could type in some description, confirm with whom, for example, with Jack, and you save. The S column allows you to set the trip status. If you double click, Lemus will display trip status codes for you. For example, you could set a trip status to networked or E or C. And Lemus will change the uh, code for you right on the screen. You can drag and drop if you want to. Same way. The F column allows you to just flag the trip for attention. Double click on that, that will go away. This is just for your information if you made any changes. Also, Lemus will change this to F if the job has been dispatched to the driver, D, and you change the trip time, Lemus will automatically change the F column to Y. This is to bring your attention just in case you need to uh, dispatch the driver again for the, the new uh, updated time. The T column allows you to tag trips. And when you tag trips, now you can print the tag trips, email tag trips, etc. You can double click on the checkbox that you want to uh, tag. Or if you want to tag all, click on the T header. That will toggle the tag option for you. At the bottom of the screen, you have the Add Edit buttons that allow you to add trips to the system, modify trips. Also, you can go directly to the routing window where you could type in the routing drop-off and pick up details. The ETA button allows you to check the flight information for a trip. You, or click on the airline button, Limous will display the flight information status. The other option that we have is the map it option that allows you to map a street address. Uh, we have several engines there like uh, Google, MapQuest. Click on the map icon. Limous then will display via the browser the location of the street address that you're trying to map then you could print it out or hand to the driver email etc from the internet explorer you have the top and bottom that allows you to go to the top and bottom of the list of trips print allows you to print various reports for example, trip ticket. If you click on that, Limous will display a window and ask you what you want to do. Uh, preview, print, fax, email, or export. Preview allows you to preview a trip right on the screen.
The other options you have are to print it directly to the printer or fax. The fax and email PDF have pop-up menus. For example, fax to account, to account contact, etc. You can also email PDF documents, for example, to a driver, to account, etc. And export, to export to RTF text format and other formats, like hypertext markup language, HTML, or text format. The delete button allows you to delete a trip from a screen, however, it's not recommended. And by default, Lumuas disables this option. It is recommended that you change the trip status with an X. So if you go to a trip, I will click on it, set it with an X. Lumuas will prompt you if you want to email a cancellation confirmation to your client. You can say yes or no. Lumuas then will change the trip to X. As you can see, it says canceled, non billable. Also, Lumuas will highlight the whole trip based on the status of the job. If it's X and you selected in the properties of the trip status code, that it needs to highlight the whole line. And this could be changed right into the listings option under trip status codes. As you can see right here, we have the option to highlight whole trip row on the dispatch grid. Similar to the dispatch or will call or price quotation. Next you have the settle option. The settle option allows you to settle a job means that you finalize the job and you want to complete it and you could initial it here let's say assume everything is fine and then click save and then save now the job has been settled and you can see right on the screen on the dispatch window that the you have ja as my initials for example and um Lumos will display a pop-up window that shows the um information about the settlement. This means the job has been completed. By the way, if you double click on the job and you try to modify it, no changes will occur now. As you can see on the top of the screen or the window, it says trip is settled slash paid. Rates will not change. If so, if I try to make any changes here, the no changes will take effect. And as you can see, everything is dimmed here and you cannot apply anything. Next we have the driver queue. On the left hand side you have all the drivers that are in the driver list. The drivers available or the driver queue area will have the drivers that you want to assign to the jobs. So if I double click on one of these guys he will go to the right hand side. Now I could assign him from here I could just double click and he gets assigned so driver O for example Mike for example I could go to this job and double click and driver 150 has been assigned next the vehicles if I have any vehicles I could assign the vehicles to the jobs I could go right here I could double click and the job will be or the trip will be assigned to that particular vehicle. I can also type the vehicle number directly. You double click on the trip that you want to assign the vehicle to and you hit enter. If a vehicle does not exist, for example type 99, Lumos will change the text to red. That means it doesn't exist. I could also clear it out. The totals cal displays the total calendar for the day and by default it will list the number of trips you have for certain days of the month. For example for the 23rd I have five trips. I can get also the trip totals by clicking on the 
calendar type. Limos will list how much money basically is the, the trip total for all the trips for that particular date. I could go back and forth using these buttons next year, previous year, etc. Trip log, if there's any trip log for particular trips, it will be listed on the screen. For example, you could log certain uh, issues, etc., that you have with the jobs, or you want to take uh, certain notes. Here, tag all, basically similar to tagging the trips, okay, similar way. Audit allows you to see any changes that took place for particular trips. Normally, this is turned on in the LumaWiz settings under the application tab. And by default, it's turned off. This will consume lots of space. It's recommended for big companies. If you want to keep an audit, you could have it. And LumaWiz will give you a warning once the trip count or the uh, record count reaches 1,000. You could change this to any number that you want. Next, we have the option to send emails. As you can see, you have options to email confirmations, regular trip messages, email drop SMS. To send pre-confirmation email, you would click on the checkbox that you want. You tag the trips that you want to email the trips or the pre-confirmation, and then click on the button here and click to account, etc. And LumaWiz will then change the email type to pre-confirmation. The thank you email normally is done after the job has been completed. The split screen allows you to toggle the screen display. This will either display or hide the routing information at the bottom of the screen. And Limos will keep the setting for you. Remembers it when you close the window. The previous and next day button allows you basically to go back and forth between days quickly and easily. You you can also click on today's date. And Limos will display today's day trips, or you could select any trip day that you want from the list. If there's anything, Limos will display it. The cancel list, if there's any deleted trips, Lumos will list them for you on the screen. The pay option allows you to pay a trip. If you go to the pay option, select a credit card, let's say from a drop down list, or pay it via check, credit card, etc. Now the job has been paid. Driver availability, this allows you to set the drivers who are available or not available to do certain trips. So uh, let's say you have a driver number uh, 150. You could set a day that he's not available for a whole week. Example, on the 25th, he's not available on Monday, Thursday, and Friday. And you could set an ending date if you want to. And you save. Now, if you try to assign a driver on the dispatch window for driver 150 for these days, Limoiz will give you a warning that the driver is not available. Number of passengers. Limoiz will just give you the number of passengers total for all the trips that you have on the screen. This is good if you have a shuttle uh, services. Notes allows you to enter notes on the dispatch window. The status button allows you to change the trip status. It is similar to the S column. If you double click on a cell, limos will display that and you could assign the trip status via double clicking or dragging and dropping it in the on the trip. That's it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.